Hello and good morning. It's the 6th of January and it's 9.55 in the morning and I'm on a street called Pilgrim Street and I've decided to do a few things that catch my interest and one of them is buildings. So I've come to this one first. This is Christ Church Pittsmore. It's the local church uh, it's about a mile and a half away from my home and I wanted to get a closer look at the building <coughs> excuse me and the architecture because it's uh, an impressive spot I'll just wait for this bus to go by here we go and there we are okay so moving in I'm just going to show you this side of the building there's an annex here which is much newer as you can see and then you've got the actual building itself so morning. Morning. hello good morning what are you doing i'm um doing a documentary i'm basically doing some filming do you mind are you, is that all right i'm basically <laughs> doing some filming um i started my youtube channel because i, I like to just do a little bit i'm just doing a little bit because to get out and do stuff and I've done some sort of park areas and some natural places, but I've also, I'm also doing sort of places that inspire me, like mm -hmm. this. It's a lovely building. I only live oh, about a mile away. It's got a nice feel to it. So I'm going to go around and just... I've just done a bit of research. I'm going to go around and show my viewers. I don't have many. I've got about 150 well, viewers and stuff. It's been five, you know. It's we, been what? We've been out of the church for two or three months because someone set fire to it. Oh, my gosh. Is that why that's uh, like that? Yeah, the, uh... yeah, yeah. They've, they've set fire to it and through the bins. Back. That's horrendous. So we haven't been able to do our classes or any or the community work. It has just stopped for about three months. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, I came round in summertime uh, because I had the sunshine on it uh, as I was walking up Pittsmore Road, mm -hmm. and it looks amazing. It really does with the towers and stuff. But I had no idea that Why that happened. Why would they destroy a church? Well, exactly. Yeah, it's a house of God. Why would you do that? Yeah. It's open well, to everyone. There's only one God, isn't there? Yeah. That's it. It's open to everyone. So I'm I'm going to go around the perimeter and, and I'm just going to walk up and just come up closer to the building and have a look around. Is that all right? Well, I'll just I'll tell the warden if you see. Yeah, I'm just I'm not here to disturb anybody. I'm not here to disturb anybody. I'm just going to pop in and just go around and, and just show. Yeah, and um, if you want a link, by all means, I'll give you a link to my channel because. Well, what I've just done is I did I went to Dunstable over Christmas and there's a priory down there that that was. Well, the priory, as you know, was was. Uh, uh, set up by King Henry the first so it's 980 years old the rest of it's gone um, but I did a little bit of that and quite a lot, quite a lot of people were interested so I thought well I'll come around and do this because this is stuff that I love anyway so thank you wow somebody set fire that's horrible so as you can see it's a beautiful building why somebody would do that is just crazy it's an Anglican church so it's part of the uh, the Anglican movement of Christians and uh, I think they're quite a big church um, contingent for want of a better phrase <laughs> and this building it was actually uh, commissioned um, in the 1840s late 1840s I think it was built between 1849 and 1850 and the architects were Flockton and Son or Flockton and Co. You'll have to excuse the sounds of the traffic, it is on the corner of a main road as well. Let's just get another view of that building there. I'm walking onto the road backwards but it's worth it. So there we go, that's that. Um, it's got some large grounds in it and the graveyard of course. It was consecrated and made holy ground and a church in 1850 and the role of the church changes over time as you as you no doubt you know by the time you got to the Victorian era it was still a, a thriving part of a community but what you have in Sheffield now is a community that is comparatively quite diverse there are a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds and faiths and as those nice ladies were saying they do a lot of community work here. So the community work that they do... Oh, here comes the sign. There we go. A lot of the community work they do is not dependent 
upon faith. It's dependent upon need, which is what a church is all about. I'm just going to cross the road to get a better view over the other side. But it's horrible to hear that they've, they've had a fire. Why would they do that? I'm just going to pan over for one minute over to this side. This is the main road. And then this obviously here is the vicarage. So this is whoever dispenses the work of the church lives here. And I think a lot of these houses, some of which will now be private, of course, um, were linked to the church. I think that's a good view of the building, actually. Great spire. That clock tower is working. No, the clock's lot is stopped, and it may be due to what happened to it. But there's some nice buildings here, set back from the road, as you can see. And they will have been built around the same time. So, consecrated in 1850. And a working church today. I've got a beat from a man in a van. Consecrated 1850 in a working church today. As you can hear that, what the lady said, it hasn't been used for a number of months and that's literally because um, some idiot set fire to the building. How could they do that? Look at it, it's amazing. There's a tree next to the building that you may or may not be able to catch. I'm gonna move further in. And <clears throat> it's the 6th of January, as I said, and it started to blossom. So I'm gonna get you closer to that to have a look because I just think it's such a lovely thing. So yeah, as I say, these are gonna be short videos. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a few of them because there are a few buildings that I think are just amazing to see. Uh, let me get a little bit closer because uh, let me see. Quite a lot of nice light falling on that tree there. And there's a warden in, so they just want to let the warden know that this is what I'm doing. And that's the tower. Of course, this is the entrance over here. Let me see if I can find you a little bit of information. Let's have a look. So it says that the architects were Flockton and Sons. The style of this church because of the time. And I think it's indicated by things like the windows. And when you get closer to the doors, <laughs> you see the archway here? So you've got the archway, but you've also got things like this. These are happy chappy. And he's not so happy. And you've got something very similar. That looks like it might be a king and a queen, actually. If you look at that one over there, and then that one there. And then they're all different people, look. There's another one. That looks like it could be a bishop or a monk or something. There we go. This gives you an idea of the style of the building. Another one there. I haven't gone in, I'm not going to ask if I can, I don't want to disturb anybody. But the style of the architecture, as I was saying, is what's known as Gothic Revival. And the oldest of the, obviously you can see it's got cemetery as well, but the oldest of the graves in here, without a doubt, will be from the 1850s, because that's where you're going to find your consecrated ground. So I'm going to walk over a little bit further over this way. Before I do, I want to show you this one that's very obvious to see. There are a few graves here, but that one I could see straight away as I was walking past. So that's in memory of William Blackwell, who departed this life on the 19th of August, 1854, aged 75 years. Well, for having a grave that big, he must have been quite an important chap. And you know what? Just really quick. Let's have a look at this one as well. has uh, stood the test of time. It looks like a lot of marble and granite here. This says, in loving memory of Eleanor, wife of James Blythe, she died on August the 23rd, 1884, aged 49 years. Also the above named James Blythe, who died January 8th, 1888, aged 55 years. So he, she preceded him 
by four years and it's the two together the couple together in life and beyond so a little bit of a pathway here I'm just gonna have a quick sneaky peek round and I think I'll be uh, I'll be done because it's a small place uh, but a lovely a lovely spot and it looks so different in summer you probably saw all the leaves and the bracken and the brash partly because they've not had chance to do anything with it being closed for so long uh, but that sunshine hitting the trees there it's very nice so I'm just coming round this little bit there some of it is blocked off that looks a bit newer doesn't it just uh, around here so this is the the bottom walkway where we were looking at and it's that roof over that side just over there that's the one that was uh, damaged some lights on but the other side is blocked it's quite nice because you get a view of the tower which is uh, beautiful as you can see the slats there and there's bells in there of course because church bells ring this is a newer section I'm going to come out of this newer section here and I've done a full run round if you like so to speak and uh, so yeah it's a working church it's still here it's still working it cost at the time £2,707 to build which is uh, if you calculate that out in the amount of money uh, in 2021 that would uh, equivalent out or equivocate out to about £310,000 and it's got a capacity a congregational capacity of about 500 oh that's my shadow there look sunshine on the church well they do say the sun shines on the righteous so guys I'm gonna pan back and leave it here I just want to show you that again that's the bit of the roof that had been damaged that uh, the lady was telling us about which is awful isn't it uh, why would they do that let's leave it over here like this I'm gonna slowly pop backwards I'm just being careful it's a bit wobbly I'm sorry it's just that I'm walking backwards on this street in order to get the whole building in whilst we've got sunshine on it okay I think that's good bus coming car coming ignore them another one there we go so that's Christchurch in Pittsmoor it's an Anglican church in the Diocese of Sheffield and uh, yeah tell me what you think if you liked it that's great if you didn't hey that's also great let me know and uh, leave me a, a like and subscribe tell your friends I'm going to do a few of these as I said this is my first one it ended up being a little bit longer than I expected because I ended up chatting to those two ladies who were telling me what happened so on that note please like subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.